can't re you know, retell it very well, so maybe somebody else will know it when I describe it. But I remember Fern talking about when you were growing up on the farm, and in the winter sometimes you'd have to get driven into Chihuahua to school on the wagon because there was snow and stuff. And I remember um, she talked to me one time about, you know, we were going into school and they, they came across some Indians that were walking to Chihuahua, maybe to school or wherever. And, and uh, she, she made sure that they stopped and picked them up and gave them a ride, which I think in those days probably would have been pretty unusual. Yeah, I think that was down in Sweetwater. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, okay. I didn't, yeah, I, I, was, I assumed at the time that it was, uh, you know, on the Chirila farm just because that was all I knew about at that time, so, yeah. yeah. Well, when you and Joyce were ready to start school, uh, I mean, I think we're both at the same time, yeah. we were still out on the, on the farm, mm -hmm. and um, it was too far to have to, uh, bring you over to the little school up there. So um, they brought, her mother brought us over and we stayed in this house. Yeah, there was a, there was a house. I don't know uh, whether your, the folks knew who owned it or not, but anyway, uh, it uh, was a pretty good sized place. Big place, It had yeah. a second story that had a dance floor. Yeah. And Dad boarded that up, and uh, the three of us and Mom lived in that, and it was right next door to the one-room schoolhouse, so we just had a little ways to walk. But uh, after one semester of that and Dad batching on the farm, the, the folks decided it was time to move into town. Well, Mother said she can hear the... I well, the pack rats. Pack rats. Yeah, there were, there were pack rats upstairs. Upstairs. Yeah. I don't, of course, I was too small. I don't, yeah. I mean, I remember being in this house. Yeah. And, but, uh, but <laughs> isn't it amazing? Without any computers or, or uh, TV or uh, cell phones, that we made it. Yeah. 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 We had a, a few books in the blackboard, and, and the teacher had a stick. And <laughs> well, she she taught. Uh, I think Joyce and I were the only two in the first grade, but the next row over was second, and so on, yeah. uh, up through. I think they went through the ninth grade, didn't they? Eight or eight, eight or at, at uh, Fairview up in our community, yeah. and through eighth grade. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you had to pass the state exams to get your before you go into high school. Yeah. And but one teacher for whatever number of kids yes. there were. Yeah. There weren't a lot, but yeah. usually if we had fifteen or sixteen in our yeah. in our whole school, that was about the size of it. Yeah. It, uh, did Abby teach school? Not not there. She did. She was a teacher though, oh, wasn't she? Uh, yeah. Abby taught at, at Fairview for a, for a while. Oh, did she? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I said she was rougher on me than she was on any kid. Oh. <laughs> any kid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she was her teacher. Her yeah. And wasn't there an incident where you fell asleep or something, and she took a ruler and whacked you on the knuckles or something yeah. like that? Yeah, she did that. <laughs> I lean on my hand, lean on my hand, and she'd push my elbow out. <laughs> I was not the most brilliant math student in the world. But she was uh, determined she was going to make a genius out of me. <laughs> it didn't work. 